Hello everyone. Uh, very nice day to all of us. I am teacher Oliver C. Silvano. And again, welcome to my blog. Um, for today's video, we we will create a tutorial on how to prepare the list of examinees using Project Digital Quiz Essentials. To start with, uh, punta na po tayo doon sa ating application, uh, which is the Project Digital Quiz Essentials. And at the menu bar, we are going to select, okay, uh, we are going to select quiz server. Actually, before we can serve an examination, we need to pre uh, prepare our our students or list of students or list of examinees. Okay, actually, there are two ways in which in which we can actually prepare our our list of students. The first one is this system. Uh, the system project digital quiz essentials accept a call form one as the list of examinees so kung meron po kayong sf1 na galing po yan sa lis uh, it should be downloaded by the lis uh, okay na po meron na po kayong uh, list of examinees okay pero kung wala pa then you are going to use the template that uh nandito mag download natin that is downloadable in uh, from the system okay so but before that papakita ko muna sa inyo yung kung ano yung uh siguro naman teachers from the uh, alam uh, alam na natin kung ano yung uh SF SF1 okay so sa akin ang SF1 ko ay usually dito po yun siya nakalagay sa drive D and then classes and then uh, class 2020 to 2023 and then let's say for example grade 9 and then quizzes and dito po nakalagay po dito yung uh, SF1 ko okay nakasave po yan and this SF1 is downloaded from the LIS okay we try to open that one uh, we'll wait para i-open niya yung SF1 let's wait for a while <laughs> yung babagal ata yung ano ko laptop. Okay, so this, ito po yung uh, uh, SF1 or the school register. Uh, dito po, nakikita nyo, dito na po yung mga names at saka pati na rin yung mga LRN ng mga bata. So, dito po siya naka, uh, dito po siya kukuha ng information about sa list of students. About your list. And it should be generated through LIS. Kasi kapag ito downloaded na galing sa LIS, kung gawa, gawa niya lang, hindi rin po niya ito tatanggapin. Okay? Uh, for the, the second option, uh, we, we can actually uh, download the examinist template. Uh, dito po yun. So, dito po yun sa quiz server and then we have this one, examinist template. You have to download this one and then uh, just, uh, for example, this of examinist form, yung file name niya, Tsaka yung location, iset nyo na lang sa akin. Dito na po siya sa downloads. And then, dot .xls. X. Importante po yan kasi para malaman ng system kung anong file type ang uh, ang isi-save niya. That is uh, an Excel file. xlsx. Okay? Just click on save. And then, just already existing daw. And then, just click on yes. And then, you know. Okay, ngayon, uh, pupunta po tayo doon sa download location. I think this is on downloads and then ito na po yun, uh, list of examinees form. Okay, so we will try to open this one and then we will look at the layout of this one and how how we can uh, populate or list down our students. It should be, meron kang... Mayroon kang information about your students. Uh, mayroon kang pangalan nila. And then, uh, mayroon kang LRN, of course. So, ito po yung mga kailangan nating mga data. No? Kapag magmamanual po tayo. So, click na po natin yung enable, enable editing so that we can start uh, entering uh, um, learners. Okay? Um, by default, mayroon na po siyang uh, nakalagay. This serve as guide on your... Uh, uh, 
guide sa pag-i-entry po ninyo. Kung paano po siya i-entry. Okay? So as you can see, mayroon ditong LRN. Ito yung mga kailangan natin na information. LRN, we have also the family name, first name, uh, middle name. Kapag wala po siyang middle name, lagyan lang po natin ng period. Okay, period kapag walang middle name. Kasi mag error po yung system kapag uh, walang entry po yung uh, isa. Kapag mayroong field dito na may Na mayroong halimbawa, mayroong LRN dito na let's say for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So yan po, na sample lang naman ang LRN. And then, and then, uh, anyway, before tayo mag-start, kailangan pala natin lagyan siya ng uh, ganito. Ano ba yung quotation mark na yan? Sa isang quotation mark lang and then enter para uh, dito po siya. Uh, Ika-count niya yan as text. No? Dapat text kasi yung LRN, hindi number. Okay? So, halimbawa, pag may LRN dyan, and then mayroong fa uh, family, uh, family name, let's say, for example, Silvano. Silvano. And then, the first name is, let's say, for example, Oliver. And then, the middle name is, uh, halimbawa, wala akong, wala akong middle name yung bata, or ako, wala akong may middle name, lagyan po natin ng dot, para hindi lang po siya ma-empty. And then, you have to select for uh, sex, and then, contact number is 0999999999. Okay? And then, enter. Eh, okay. kailangan din po natin ng uh, grade level na kung anong grade level na grade 7. I think this is grade uh, from grade 1 to 12 ata daw. Grade, grade 1 to 12. Sure, grade 1 to 12. Okay? So pili na po tayo diyan. Halimbawa, uh, this is grade 8. And then the section, uh, so for example, um the section is Mahogany. Mahogany. And then subject is Uh, let's say, for example, English. Okay, ito po yung magiging, ito na po yung magiging information niya doon. Pagkatapos noon, you have to just click on file and then uh, save para po ma-save yung work natin. Okay? Kung gusto natin na baguhin yung file name, just click on file, save as, and then browse. And then, select for allocation now. Then, then, download. And then, let's say, for example, uh, grade 8. Baguhin natin yung file name, grade 8. Dash, uh, say, for example, uh, Mahogany. Mahogany. This is just only for um, identifi identification uh, purposes. Uh, just click on save. And then, Ganun po. So, yun lang po ang critical dito mag-start bag, bago tayo mag-start ng pagtatype ng LRN. Lagyan natin ng single quotation followed by the LRN 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3. And then, hit enter para tanggapin niya. And then, name ng uh, family name. Uh, let's say again, Silvano. And then, uh, first name is, uh, let's say example, Brian. Oliver. And then, uh, middle name. Halimbawa, pag merong, merong middle name, mas, mag mas maganda kung wala, that lang po. And then, select for uh, select for uh, gender. And then, type for the uh, number. Dapat may number. Kung walang number, uh, dinagyan na lang muna natin ng 000. Or di kaya 1. Uh, and then, hit enter. Para, para po talaga hindi siya mag-error. Kasi mag-error po talaga kapag walang entry dyan. Okay? And then, uh, click on save. Or control S. Hit control S para ma-save siya. Okay? I think that's it. Sana meron po kayong natutunan sa ating panibagong video. And thank you for watching. God bless po.